face a severe weather alert day across North Texas, but that is not for all day today. We're talking mostly this afternoon and tonight for our western counties, the northwestern counties. So thunderstorm icons are on the map. Not everyone's going to see showers and thunderstorms today. In fact, most of us are going to be dry. But we put those on there just in case any sort of pop-up activity pops up later this afternoon into this evening in the metro area. That would be just temporary uh, moderate to heavy rain showers with maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but the main activity is going to be further to the west, so we'll show you that here in just a second. Highs in DFW today are going to be around 80, and we'll show you the overnight lows tonight. Showers and thunderstorm chances will increase into tomorrow morning with lows around 68. So one thing to mention is here's a look at the 24-hour rainfall projections from the Weather Prediction Center's QPF totals across the area and as you can see some areas could see up to an inch maybe even a little bit higher of rainfall so we're going to get some beneficial rainfall across the area but we're not talking a complete washout counties further to the north and northeast have the potential for flash flooding as it looks like there could be some heavier rainfall there as well keep in mind if you're going to be driving overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning to not drive through flooded roads because there could be some ponding with some of this activity but the bulk of the activity that we're going to be talking about in addition to the rain chances today is the chance for severe storms. So here's a look at that severe weather threat for today. Basically for all of North Texas, we have a risk, but the greatest risk is for areas along into the west of I-35. So as you can see, a two out of five slight risk includes the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. That area is further to the east and northeast just because we can't rule out maybe a few isolated thunderstorms this afternoon. But the bulk of the activity is going to be further to the west, closer to our far northwestern counties to start off. And then overnight tonight, that risk is going to shift into the I-35 corridor and into your commute tomorrow morning. So here's a look at the individual risks starting with the tornado risk. And there is the risk for maybe a few isolated tornadoes today across our northwestern counties and it's a very low tornado risk but it's not zero so we just want to let you know there is a risk for tornadoes but it's not significant it's not like what we saw a couple of weeks ago but the other main concern is going to be large damaging hail and we're talking up to one to two inches across the area this risk exists in the metroplex and areas to the west now this is probably going to be the case for today and early tomorrow because some of the models are hinting that there's going to be a line of storms that fires up along the system that's moving through, and it's going to push east into the I-35 corridor. But as it does so, it weakens and forms a broken segment of storms. And if we get those broken areas of thunderstorms, those could potentially be a broken line of supercells. Now, when we talk supercells, we know a lot of people are worried about that word because they associate it with tornadoes. But supercells are just individual storms with rotating updrafts now. Some of them produce tornadoes. A lot of them produce large damaging hail. And we're talking about that risk for large damaging hail. If some of the models are correct and we do get this line of storms that weakens and then it forms a broken segment of storms and then it taps into an environment that helps it strengthen as it moves further to the east, that's when we're talking the potential for maybe some large one to two inch hail. But for areas further to the northwest of the metroplex today, that's where we're talking a significant hashed area in our extreme northwestern counties today for the potential of up to baseball-sized hail. So that's a look at the risk for today. That doesn't include the risk that moves into the overnight hours tonight in DFW. That is going to be the con that's going to be the uh, convective outlook for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But large hail is going to be a risk. Also, a risk is going to be the risk for damaging winds across the area. It is low, but it is not zero. We do expect that if there is a line of storms in our western counties, those will produce likely 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. So you may be wondering, when are the storms going to move into the area? Well, we're talking our western counties and outside of our coverage area Thursday afternoon into the evening. So that's later today and basically into tonight. We're talking around 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, overnight into tomorrow morning for our western counties. And then the I-35 corridor is going to be between 3 a.m. and 10 a.m. So it's a big time gap that we have for the potential for the severe weather. We're given a few extra hours after the storms may move through and before just because you never know. The system might slow down. It might uh, speed up a little bit. We just want to be completely safe and just make sure that there is a wide span of time 
that storms could move into the area. And then outside of our coverage area to the east, we're talking 10 a.m. into the afternoon into the Arklatex region where it does look like a tornado outbreak may form in eastern Texas, Louisiana, and parts of Arkansas. So that's outside of our coverage area. We're not going to be dealing with that tornado outbreak. In fact, there is a moderate risk for uh, a large portion of the deep south and the southeastern U.S. tomorrow. So that area is going to be dealing with some wild weather. We have to get through the system first. And here's a look at the latest details. So we've had some people ask, where's the live channel? Well, currently I am out of town and on vacation, but I'm going to be watching these storms very closely. So the channel itself is not up, but I do have a portable streaming uh, system here with me with the microphone, of course, to record these segments. And we are going to be watching these storms closely. So stay tuned for updates. Of course, download that Weather 225 mobile app, scan the QR codes now, or just simply search Weather 225 on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. We'll be live streaming there. I'll be sure to put it on the app. But like I said, the main channel's not up, but I do have a portable system here. We're tracking these storms closely because, of course, there is a severe weather risk in North Texas. So make sure that you download the free Weather 225 mobile app. I'm also going to encourage that you download other mobile apps as well, just because it's completely better to have multiple ways to receive warnings in the event that either one app doesn't work or, you know, something happens with the phone and it's not able to get notifications or something like that. Have multiple ways. So if you have a NOAA weather radio, just be sure to turn that on tonight just to be completely safe. Have multiple ways to receive alerts. Don't expect to hear sirens overnight to wake you up in the event of severe weather. Make sure that you have other ways to alert you for the risk of severe storms. So there's a chance that some of us see severe weather. There's a chance that uh, we don't really see a whole lot of severe activity, but this is a risk that you don't want to downplay, especially because it's an overnight risk. So please don't downplay this. Have multiple ways to receive alerts overnight tonight. And it's like I said, it's better to be safe than sorry to have those alerts handy for overnight. And like I said, download the free weather 225 mobile app. We've been sending push notifications all morning and updating stuff on the app. As we see this forecast evolve, we will make sure that you have the latest. So Download that. Also make sure that if you have damage from the last couple of systems or if you just need any sort of repairs done to the roof of your home or commercial building, you call our friends at MyPro Construction and Roofing. And make sure that when you call them, you refer Weather 225. Whether it's sunny, stormy, or snowy in North Texas, be sure to download our free Weather 225 mobile app. 